Hey guys, Skies here. Um, today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of still frame. I'm going to just show you some things that will make your experience on still frame that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and open up still frame. Um, when you're not logged in, this is the page you'll be directed to. This is our home page, or also our featured page, in which you can see all the featured content that we thought was extraordinary and to put up you know on the front page of the form um if you are a artist and or a animator if you do some type of amazing work um and everyone likes it expect it to be on the front page um since that is probably our most viewed page so now once you make an account um as you know i'm not on my own account i'm actually on the secondary account that's a member account um, but once you create your member account, which you probably already have since you're watching this video, you'll be directed always to the form page when you logged in. So if I click form, click form, what was not working? Is it loading? Yeah, it's loading. Okay. It's taking a while to load. Okay, there we go. So this is the form. Um, as you see, we have our five tabs, our home page, which takes you to the feature page. Um, downloads, which takes you to the resources. All resources are public. Um, so you're, where you're not required to, you know, stay here until you get 100 posts, get your resources and leave. You could just sign up and then just get what you need and leave. But however, we would like you to stay and just interact with the community. That would be amazing and great for us. And you too, because you'll meet some new friends. You'll meet some guys who are just chill. And you'll have a blast on still frame, trust me. And then you have the rules, which is kind of self-explanatory. The rules are also in the terms of service. So if you somehow skip by that, which mostly everybody does, even myself, you might want to just... Excuse me. <clears throat> you might just want to check that out. Refresh yourself with the rules and, you know, check it periodically in case of updates because sometimes we update it and we don't really tell anybody um, there's just little things that someone got infracted for and there was really no rule for it so now there's a rule for it so just make sure you check it like once every three months whatever and the donate bar is pretty much if you want to help contribute to the site and make the site improve that'll be great you're not required to donate but um, any penny or dollar you have afford goes directly to the site and the site only and it's highly appreciated and then, once you're on the home page, or the form page, you have these sub-navigation. Your private messages that take you to your private messages, um, with other members PM you about, I don't know, whatever. FAQ is still a work in progress for a certain section. That would answer all your general V-Bulletin form questions like, um, how to attach a picture, or um, how to use BB code, etc. Stuff like that. Calendar is pretty not pretty much not used in still frame. Um, you can see people's birthdays. That's about it for events we post on there. Um, we don't really use the calendar that much because we just give updates and notices, as you could see, um, on the form itself. Community now. Um, that's gonna take you to social groups, which are like little fandoms or um, unofficial groups or official groups you wanna have there, which just friends or, I don't know, people you want to invite to prove themselves amongst the best animations of animators. I don't know, whatever you have, whatever fandom you want, could go in there. Albums for pictures, you don't really use that. If you want to upload pictures, just upload them to ImageGur or TinyPic or PhotoBucket. Friends and contacts, self-explanatory member list, self-explanatory staff, self-explanatory and top poster, self-explanatory. And then going to form actions, um, Mark forms as read is pretty much all the forms you already read, meaning whatever you clicked in. General settings will take you to probably your user CP, um, and you could you know change your avatar and signature from there. Edit profile is actually your your visitor wall. The page when you click someone's name takes you to their visitor wall. That's where your profile is. Uh, display group is actually um, a name group. So for example, if you see Aiden, Aiden's name is has a staff next to it it's green. That's a display group. If you're in a faction, you could change your display group like that. If you have a name color change and you have a normal member and other groups, you could change whatever 
name you want it to look like, whatever color, glow, whatever HTML mark, HTML markup you have. So those are form actions. Quick links, um, really self-explanatory. A subscribe thread is pretty much like, um, think of it like a YouTube channel to an extent, but not like exactly like a YouTube channel. Pretty much you subscribe to a thread, and then if anything is posted or any updates to the thread, you will either receive an email or private message. You could edit those settings of how you want to be notified in your user CP general settings. Um, open up context pop-up, self-explanatory, who is online, self-explanatory. Blogs, um, they're pretty inactive at the moment, but these are all staff blogs. Uh, if you want to check Aiden's, myself's, two of mine, one for college, which is spring semester, long story. And Damon's, who is no longer a staff member who retired. Um, we'll probably change these up to probably a Tumblr or something, so don't really mess with that. Networking, you could um, go see the YouTube channel or the Twitter or Steam group if you want to join if you play games. Or DeviantArt if you're an artist. So don't be shy to check that out. And Nostalgia will take you, will re redirect you to the first still frame site ever created. This is old still frame. And you could go ahead and browse to that because it's an open form but you just can't post. And then so that's the sub navigation bar. And now we're going to go into some typical form behaviors. Um, first things first, uh, posting in a thread. Um, simple as you just look at what looks cool. So we'll go ahead and just check out 2K is cold. And you can see who is the latest poster. They'll be on the form board. So we go ahead. This is a thread. Um, this is the thread opener. The guy who always starts the thread or original poster. Then spoilers, you click it and you see your content and then you can comment. Um, usually we don't infract or are too hard on leaning on rules. If no one asks for CNC, you could leave a comment like, hey, that looks nice. Keep up the good work. Um, however, if it becomes too extensive and you make it apparent that you're just doing it for post count. You'll be warned at first and then infracted. Um, we don't want we don't want your name to be spammed on the form board. To be honest, we don't want to see exorcistian, 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 exorcistian all the way down. Um, so that's pretty much um, general of how to form behavior, I guess. Chat box is turning self explanatory. So, we're going to go ahead and go to user CP. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through some general things you probably use most often. Um, other things you have to go play with yourself. Um, so, edit profile this is all your profile information. Um, Skype this allows you to let people see you, your status online. However, you got to set your Skype privacy settings to you will. Um, I don't know if on top of my head, you got to check the new section for that. Um, but there's a Skype privacy setting. There it is. Privacy, the, 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 the Skype privacy setting says um, allow my status to be viewed online. It's under security. So that's Skype, putting your Skype username and then. It people it will pop up under your post, but data, biography, things about yourself, location, where you live, and these are not these are not mandatory. These are all optional. You don't have to fill these out, um, and stuff like that. So you could go ahead and edit your profile, which means like customize your colors and stuff and make your profile unique. You could even upload background images and stuff to make like a really unique profile. However, it's really up to you. If you want to take the time to do it, go for it. Um, no one's stopping you. So, edit avatar, edit signature, all that good stuff. Profile privacy. Um, that's pretty much asking or showing who could see what. Um, your general settings is what you really want to focus on. This is gonna give you invisible mode, which makes you not viewable on the form page. You have a little star next to your name. V card, we don't really use V cards. If you have contacts from other V bulletin or email addresses who are on the f site, it'll automatically be thrown in your contacts. 
who could receive email, like who receives email from you. Um, private messaging, receiving private messaging. Oh, well, there's visitor messages. If you want people to post things on your wall or not, you can turn it on and off. And you could change your default form skin. I personally like roses, but vibrant sovereignty is pretty nice too. If you want to change your um, your the theme of the form for every time you log in, what I just did is every time I logged in, it's always going to be vibrant sovereignty. I don't have to manually change um, what skin I want, not skin, but what well, yeah, that's a skin or its style. Um, so roses is a blue theme, blue and gray. It's pretty light. Um, vibrant sovereignty is more colorful. Um, still frame is a typical, um, not really typical, but or or main theme that's just gray and green. Um, we we don't we we really don't want to add more themes because it becomes extensive. So those are gonna be the three for now, unless one of the administrators or myself feel like making another one. Um, we probably won't add a light theme because that's gonna just it's a lot of work to balance out colors and stuff. However, we can do it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, that's besides the point. But yeah, this is pretty much still frame. You go in threads, you know, post about it and stuff. Um, but yeah, hope you see you guys around. Um, if you need any help, feel free to private message me and respond to this PM. Um, have a nice day. Catch you around, kiddo.